What's the super dropping? It's, like it's giving very much fruity. The flavor. Let's get this rust to cook it. All right. Hello, everyone. Hi, gay. Happy Pride Month. We're here. We're queer. We're still kind of suffering. But it's Pride Month, so we can ignore our suffering for just the rest of this month. As you can see here, we're kind of doing a weird chart ranking today. It's kind of a complicated title, so let me try to explain. So we're basically going to be ranking all of the cast from the seasons of Drag Race, just the US seasons of Drag Race. And we're gonna be ranking how gay the cast is, all right? So let's break down our tiers before we get into the ranking. So at the very bottom, we have our good friend, Madeline Morphosis. Yes, Maddie, that's, that's the Maddie Morphosis tier. So that is bottom of the barrel straight. If the cast gives me like straight energy, like, oh, like there's straight vibes here, like Maddie, like that's where they're going. Love Maddie, she's an icon, but you know, Sorry, straighty, like it's Pride Month and we got to represent. So if any cast is down here in the Metal Amorphous tier, you will know. The next tier is maybe sucked a dick once. These are contestants who have maybe sucked a dick once. Like, oh, okay, like it's not like giving straighty vibes, but it's definitely like, oh, okay. Um, they potentially have experimented a little bit um, with their sexuality. And so they've maybe sucked a dick maybe once. We don't know. The middle tier then is the Our Flag Means Death tier. If you ever watch that show, you know. It's giving gay, but like secretive, but like then it comes out of nowhere. Not really because they're building to it, but it just hits you all at once. Very emotional. What a wonderful show. Please go watch it. Free promo for the show, you guys. <laughs> Pay me for this. But so that's the Our Flag Means Death tier. The high gay is obviously flamboyantly gay. Like, okay, right in your face. No. We get Hi, it. High gay. gay. It's Pride <laughs> Month. We know you're running around parading, doing all the stuff you need to be doing to celebrate Pride Month. We love that. Okay. We absolutely love that. So that's one tier below the top. But obviously you can't have Pride Month without Joey J, the only gay contestant on Drag Race ever. <laughs> now, are you gay? You are? Oh my God, I was on cast with another gay person. That's crazy. <laughs> no, but the the cast that are up in Joey Jake here, that is top levels gay, top levels drama, flamboyancy. Like that's what's going on in the top tier for Joey J gay, all right? So those are our tiers. And quick disclaimer, of course, before we get started, this is not meant as any shade toward any cast or any queens. This is all in playful fun. Like, don't take it that seriously. Like, really don't take it that seriously. Like, I always have to disclaim everything because people take stuff so seriously, but do not take it that seriously, okay? We're just here to have some gay fun during Pride Month, all right? And we have the cast organized numerically, too, based on, like, the season numbers. So we're gonna, we can start just like that. Okay, our first cast is the season one cast. So it's kind of difficult to place them just because we don't really have much to go on as like the first season you know what i mean like how are we going to set the precedent for the rest of the ranking so the first season obviously has tammy brown nina flowers bb zahara benet angina like icons you know we have some we have some real icons up in this cast but i don't know like because it's kind of crunchy like we don't really get a lot of like the gay fun elements that we are used to nowadays. You know what I mean? We can't be too, you know, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're going to put them in maybe suck to dick once. That's the tier I was originally thinking when I thought about season one. So we're going to put them in maybe suck to dick once. We, we can't jump the gun too early. We cannot jump the boom, boom gun yet. Cause there's so much more to come. All right. Season two. Now the season two cast is basically revamped season one, right? That's when we really have, like we have the main stage as we know it basically. It really helps set the precedent for everything else. In terms of like the cast members, honestly, the early seasons have some wonderful trans representation in terms of like the early season girlies. Those are trans icons, okay? Sonique, mwah, chef's kiss, mwah. Especially in this season. So we're gonna maybe put them in Our Flag Means Death. Because we have Juju B, loves big dick and fried chicken. Avi. <laughs> So I think we're gonna put this cast in Our Flag Means Death. They're gay, I mean, don't get me wrong. They're definitely like gay, but I feel like we don't really get to the gay fun of it until like when we do like the makeovers, the old people makeovers, that's really when we get into like, okay, fruity, flir flirty, like gay fun. Now season three, the season three cast is interesting. Very, very interesting. Because we do have like Stacey Lane Matthews, absolute icon and legend, Hanny. <laughs> but we also have some very forgettable cast members too. Which is, again, no shade, but, you know, we don't really hear about Phoenix too much. Um, we don't really hear from Mimi these days, honestly. You know, 
back in the day, of course. So the cast could really go up or down for me in this sense. Like we have Venus Delight, we have Phoenix, like more forgettable characters and faces. So I'm not totally confident about where I want to put season three. I don't think season three cast is a Madeline Morphosis. They had a ton of design challenges and like, you know, drag queens, like designing shit, hello, like basic skills here. So I don't think they belong in Madeline Morphosis tier. <sighs> Do they belong in the maybe suck the dick ones tier? I think just for the fact that Stacey Lane Matthews is there, who's an absolute icon, I'm going to put them up in the R flag means death tier. Oh, of course. I How could I forget? They do, they do deserve to be there because we had the lip sync between Raja and Carmen, which was just, ugh, sex on sex. We love that. So yes. Okay. I think that's the appropriate ranking for them. We'll do that. Now, season four. I think season four is going and maybe sucked a dick once. Maybe. Maybe. This season does give us some really good, like, drama, especially in, you know, gays love drama, especially on reality TV. You know, we have fighting nonstop. We have arguments. We have Willem. Love Willem. <laughs> we have Willem. But I just don't think it really brings, like, the gayness that we really, really need in terms of, like, a season or a cast. You know what I mean? Like, they are fighting, and, like, there's, like, almost hands being thrown pretty much almost every week. <laughs> and, you know... I, I don't think that for Pride Month, <laughs> we're going to push uh, the this fighting, okay? So we're going to put them in maybe suck the dick once. We love fighting. Don't get me wrong. Us gays love fighting for reality TV. But we're here to celebrate and uplift. We're not going back to Party City. So <laughs> I think we're going to do and um, we're going to stick them and maybe suck the dick once. The season five cast, I believe it's going straight up to high gay. That is how you cast these dramatic ass gay people. We love it. First of all, the top six slash seven, probably one of the most iconic casts we've ever had. And like the amount of gayness coming off of them, like it just can't be matched. You know what I mean? Like you, it's just in the vibes. When you feel the vibes, you know, you, you, you can just even look at like the cast photos too. Like this season five is when they really were like, okay, we need to put these queens in good lighting. Like, look at this shit. Like they are serving cunt and it's slaying absolute penis. Okay. <laughs> It helps that we have Jinx, of course, and Alaska, and Coco, and Detox, and Roxy. It just, and Alyssa, of course, of course. You know, I think the season alone just for Alyssa is in the high gate tier. Like, that's like peak, okay? So we're going to do with that. Okay, next we're on to season six. And let's get it straight here, okay? Let's get it straight during Pride Month. What? Um, Season six is probably my favorite season of Drag Race, or at least one of my favorite seasons of Drag Race. When I'm showing people Drag Race and like trying to get them into it, I will absolutely show them season six. Like I've gotten so many people into Drag Race just by showing them season six. And that is because, of course, we have legends and icons like Bianca Del Rio, we have Laganja Estraja, we have Adore, we have Trinity K. Bonet, we have so many legends and icons. Gia Gunn, oh my god. So I don't think it really brings like this high, like gay energy when you watch it. It definitely brings entertainment. Again, it's probably one of the best casts we've ever had. Everyone's an icon and a legend. They're really stepping up and amping up like the value of the show. They're doing so much to entertain us and like make good TV. And that's probably why it's the best season of all time. Allegedly. <laughs> but still, it's such good television. But I think in terms of like gayness, I think I'm gonna put it in our flag means death. I think it's a little mid in terms of like the amount of gay shit that we get, you know? Like if I'm, if I'm ranking like gay ob subjectively, right? And of course this list is all subjective. So <laughs> there's no like fact or basis here. I'm just going off what I, what like the vibes they give me. I think I'm gonna go with season six and our flag means death because the amount of gay energy that it exudes is not the same as others, if that makes sense. So yes, I think I'm comfortable putting season six in the our flag means death tier. I think that's an appropriate spot for season six. Now for moving on to season seven, I am so sorry to have to do this because we're not Joey J up in here. We're not even saying hi, gay. Our flag means death probably has better gay rep than season seven. And they've maybe sucked a dick once, but they're going right in metamorphosis. I'm so sorry. So I'm sorry to put the season seven cast down here. Obviously, we have iconic queens from this season, right? We have Trixie Mattel. We have Katya. We have Violet Chachki. We have Jasmine Masters. We have so many legends and icons, right? Kennedy Davenport. We have so many. But if I'm really thinking about the amount of gay energy they exuded, I can't really think of much. Like, they, a lot of the times, they were kind of just, like, bullying each other. There's, like, this sense of energy of, of, like, the cast. Like, at least during the season, of course. They're all wonderful now. But 
the cast like during the season they're kind of like going at each other and there's like this rivalry between like the older queens and the younger queens and it it kind of becomes messy and it, it's like oh where's like the the twirly gay like fun fighting you know that we, we used to it comes off a little bitter sometimes um between everyone and you know tempest du jour has a child we has i think multiple children actually i don't know if i remember that right <laughs> but tempest du jour is a parent and you know i think Unfortunately, a lot of times we, we think of parenting, we think of it as like a straighty activity. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but just during Pride Month, you know, we don't always we don't always want like the kids, um, you know, we don't always want children vibes. You get what I'm saying? So uh, unfortunately, we're going to put the season seven cast in the Madeline Morphosis tier. But it's not a bad thing. Of course, we love Maddie. It's just, you know, for Pride Month, straighty's got to go down. Now, season eight is an interesting case. So because I'm not. I'm not totally sure where I want to put season eight, even just from the pose of like the photos alone. I'm like, okay, there is some cunt being served here. Like I can, I can picture it, but also thinking about the season, I'm like, it was kind of like a couple Queens dominated and there wasn't much for everyone else, <laughs> which like you could say the same about season six, I guess, in some contexts, like you could say it about a couple seasons too, you know, but I think if we're ranking like objectively in some capacity like that, um, we have to really like think about, okay, what kind of gay energy was being served on this season? And I don't think there was much. I'll, I'll be kind of honest. Like a lot of the runways were interesting. It just wasn't a runway season. <laughs> and I think, you know, us gays, we're very visual people. So seeing something that's visual really helps us connect with it. And I, if there, the runways aren't always giving, it's not going to work. I mean, of course, I'm not saying we didn't have great runways in the season. Chi Chi served some great looks. Naomi served some great looks. You know, Thorgy had some cute looks too. Like, you know, we definitely had some great looks on the season. It's just, oh, kimchi, of course, too. You know, I can't forget kimchi, but it's just, it's not to where some of the other, other um, seasons are in terms of like, okay, have you guys ever sucked dick before? Like, has this cast sucked dick? Are you guys gay? You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's why we're going to put it in maybe suck the dick once. Okay, season nine. This is, uh, does it go in high gay or Joey J? I'm gonna put it in Joey J gay. Okay, season nine delivers everything we would want to in terms of gay, fun, sass, Pride Month. Yes, even just the promo alone. You can tell by the promo, like they're doing, they're doing technical, they're doing all like different colors of the rainbow. Like they're doing an assortment of colors. It's colorful, color pop. It's everything. Okay, the seasons, the girls, the girlies on the season are. <laughs> We had, I can't even, okay, find words. Let's put this into words. The girlies on this season, they had to do the gay shit. First of all, Lady Gaga. You're having Lady Gaga come in, you're doing Lady Gaga runway. All these girls ate their Lady Gaga runway, okay? They're all killing it, Lady Gaga runway. Then they're doing the village people later in the season. The top five doing village people as like their like ball challenge. We love that too, you know? It's just, it gave us everything we would want to as, and the cast like helped emphasize that completely like everything that they were doing every episode every challenge we had something gay going on valentina screaming ripping off like the black bars while they zoom in on trinity's ass and they're doing that dramatic those dramatic cuts like that is peak gay television and that's for because we have this cast in front of us that gave it to us so thank you season nine that's why you're in joey j gay because you guys are icons and legends okay period <laughs> next we have season 10 and i'm not it's so hard to kind of rank, okay, where should these seasons go if we're ranking them on just on gay gayness alone? So the first episode starts with the cast having to do like the runway stuff, right? In front of all the older queens, and we love that. I'm gonna put them in our flag means death. I think in terms of gay, like there's gayness there, but I don't think the season truly gets gay until like probably halfway through. You know, once we cut, cut like start cutting off some of the girls, like, and it's really dramatic at the beginning too, right? Cause like the cast is pretty, pretty iconic and like pretty, pretty good. But I would say probably around the time that like Monet starts actually like, you know, getting high placements for challenges. That's when we really get like into the season, you know, that's when like Aquarius starts popping off. That's when Eureka starts popping off and doing well. That's when Asia starts doing, you know what I mean? So like, that's really when we get into like the bulk of like, okay, here is the gay fun we were wanted and we're missing before, you know what I mean? I mean, we have Monet split earlier in the season, but I think before that, especially like the cast really like okay they were like we, this needs to be a season two remember so we're gonna make it gay after that so love that for them so i think they're very comfortable and our flag means death the next one is season 11 and season 11 is going straight and sucked sucked it maybe sucked a dick once they're going straight there i just 
there's a lot going on in season 11, I think, especially with the cast. The cast, again, everyone is an icon, but I think overall, like the cast and the way that they interact with each other kind of detracts from some of the gay fun that we could be having. So it puts it on kind of a straighty level where I'm like, okay, like you're giving off some straighty vibes. Like, what is this? Like, we're fighting over nothing. They're screaming and untucked. Like everyone's calling each other out. And I'm not saying, of course, like fighting is a straight activity because, you know, I've seen some gays throw some hands, you know what I mean? But like the, just the energy that it kind of gives off, it was kind of like, I don't know if we need to be doing all of that for all of this. The next one is going to be season 12. And season 12 is going straight up into high gay. Hi, gay. <laughs> Season 12 is one of the pinnacles of, like, gayness. Like, we have to get into it right away. Let's make it very clear about season 12. Just from the, this promo photo of the group, like, America, red, white, and blue theme. Hello, let's make America gay again, people. Like, this is what we needed. And that's the energy that the cast brought pretty much all season. They were all amping up to 100, trying to, like, okay, how can we out-gay each other? How can we out-sissy and flamboyant? Like, come on, sissy, let's serve it, sissy. You know, we're pulling... <laughs> <laughs> a Canada's Drag Race with Sissy, but that's really what we, the energy that, that we got from the season. You know, we had Jan being the Rachel Berry, Glee through callbacks, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, and Glee's a gay-ass show. Oh my god, Glee's ridiculous. But that's like the kind of energy that the season gave us, right? Everyone amping it up to 11s, and that's really the gay energy that we needed, so that's why they're going in the high gay tier. Now, season 13, <laughs> if only for name alone, I have to put them up in the Joey J gay tier. They gave us our very first gay contestant, Joey J. They gave us our very first gay contestant. Like, we can't compete with that. No other season up here can do what Joey J did for the gay community. Like, this really gave Joey J and the gays a platform to speak. And for that, we are so ever so grateful. Like, it's just a moment in time. So we have to applaud Joey J. And Joey J turned actually the rest of the cast gay too. So like, what a moment. <laughs> and it's iconic too, because the rest of the cast, like, we had some epic highs and some epic lows. Like, Utica bombing the roast. Like, that's a gay moment. Like, that is the gay energy we need. Like, okay, like, even the guest judges are calling you out for how bad you're... Like, you're just... There's no coming back from that. You know what I mean? Like, that's the gay energy we need. Like, Tamisha and Candy fighting. That is the gay energy we need. Like, the other fights, I, you know, I was kind of knocking down the other seasons for, like, the fights. Like, oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, giving straight... No, this was pure gay fighting. You know what I mean? Like, the girls are fighting. Like, that's what we needed from that. So, they deserve their spot in the Joey J tier. Season 14 has to go straight in the Metalamorphosis tier. Now, the only reason they are here is because of Maddie. Because this is the most, like, I don't know, transformative cast ever. How many? Tranos. That's all I have to say. Just Tranos. Carrie Colby's impact on this season should be studied. She had the girls doing wild and ridiculous things to figure out who they were. Like, that's impact, that's iconic, that's a moment in time that we cannot replicate. But unfortunately, you have the only straighty <laughs> on your season. So I'm so sorry to have to put you in metalamorphosis. But I mean, hey, maybe once Pride Month's over, you guys can get bumped up some tiers. I don't know. Then our final one is season 15. So for the final one, I don't think it's a metalamorphosis tier. I also don't think it's a maybe suck the dick once tier either. I think season 15 belongs very comfortably in the high gay tier. Now hear me out. The gay twins have a big part in this. Mistress has a huge part in this. Lux, Anitra, Mistress. <laughs> like there are just so many gay antics going on this season. There's shadiness. There is like the cast like doing all of this like communicating in this confessional in this way. We have all the girls just going at it like there's so much like gay tension and it's not like the awkward weird straighty tension that you might see like maybe with season seven this is like gay fun tension you know what i mean like we're all letting loose here wink wink so it's just i think it very much so earns its spot the cast has done a great job of earning its spot in the high gay tier so that's where it's gonna go all right so that pretty much sums up our rankings <laughs> Season 9 and Season 13 are carrying the gays, you know. Obviously, we have to give applause for those who came before us. So we need to know our drag <laughs> our drag and gay history. <laughs> no, this was a really stupid list. This was all for fun, so don't take it too seriously. But I would love to know what season, season and what cast gives off, like, the best gay energy for you. Like, what cast really exudes, like, that gay energy um, to put them at the very top in the Joey J tier? tier like please let me know in the comments what you guys think but this was so much fun <laughs> it's really stupid but it was a lot of fun so let me know what you think 
Um, check out the rest of my channel. I do K-pop content. I do drag race content. I'm a bit of a mess. I do variety gaming content. So if you want something that makes sense, don't look for it on my channel. But <laughs> this was fun. So I will see you guys next time. And happy Pride Month. Woo! Bye, gay. Hello everyone, my name is Cherie. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you.